Hey everybody, Lady Steen. This project that we're going to talk about for the box of making is our Haunted Comedy Club. It's a really fun little project. We'll take a look at it first. It has two jokes built into it and a little ghost up here in this top window that you can see. So the first joke is, what do you call wood when it is scared? When you spin the wheel, it says petrified. And then the other joke on it is... What do you, how do you keep a monster from biting his nails? And the answer, of course, is give him screws instead. Now, you know, we're steamy tech, so those answers and those jokes sort of make sense. So we thought we'd start with that. So let me show you what's in your bag and what kind of decorating you can do. As always, my samples are bare wood, so I don't tell you how you're going to do it. When you open your little haunted comedy club bag... It's a very simple piece in terms of your number of pieces. You've got a front to your comedy club, and you have a back to your comedy club. They look like that when they're stacked together. Then you're also going to have a little gear bag. Your gear bag is going to have two big gears in it and two little gears in it. So here's my two big gears. They're the ones that have my jokes on them. And I have one itty-bitty gear that will be our gear in the middle and I have one little gear with ghosts and you're going to need to color the front of this piece and this is the back side this is meant to be a pen so you've got pen backs in your hardware set if you're going to put it together you'll want to put your pins on the top up here so you can color the back if you want to if you really don't want to decorate the back you don't have to I think you're probably going to want to sand both sides and then on the inside of this piece, what you'll see is about the bottom half of it here. You can see when we put it together, the windows pop through. You've also got a little bit showing through here and here and here. So you'll want to decide how much sanding and how much coloring you want to do to decorate the inside of your Haunted Comedy Club. Now, you're going to also put gears on the back of it, and as always with gears... We like to make sure we've sanded the piece completely and we've sanded the back of our gear so please do at least that much. You can see a little bit of the front of the gears around the side so you're going to want to make sure that whatever decorating you do, you do all the way around. I would say it's just being a little bit careful on what you do in the pieces that will appear in the windows. Since we've got such teeny tiny words on them, you want to make sure you don't do too much. You definitely want to sand them so you can see them. And then probably don't decorate on the areas where the words themselves are, but you can decorate all around all of the rest of those pieces. On the ghosts, they're the perfect piece to make white with a white paint pen or do something else exciting with. This gear you're not going to see at all from the front. But you will see it on the back if you turn your piece over and you're playing with it. So you can decide how much decorating you want to do on it. As always, make sure you leave your hardware bag closed until we're ready to do the instructions to put it together. So go have fun, go decorate, and then come back and we'll put together your Haunted Comedy Club. Thanks! Okay. Now that you've done all your decorating on your very impressive haunted comedy club, we're ready to actually put it together. So I'm going to open my screw bag and we'll take a look at the screws that are in here. We've got two pin backs. We have four nuts. And we have four screws. This is gonna go together pretty simply. Um, it may be something you wanna let the kids put together if you have kids in your life. Um, or if you are a kid, the only challenge is going to be getting your joke wheels lined up right. So the two pieces here want to go together like this. Now we want to make sure, before we glue them together, that they're lined up. So put your screws through, or at least a couple of them. And we'll use them for alignment to get the front and the back aligned to each other. Make sure you've got a nice coating of super glue, especially on the edges. Don't glue your fingers together. 
keep your glue away from those screws that are coming up because we're going to want to use them and we don't want to get gunk in them. And now we're just going to glue our two pieces together. Probably I should have put glue on the other side first since it's the one with all the holes in it and make it prettier. But I'm all set, all glued together, all ready to go. Now, getting our gears in is the next trick. So I'm going to start with the little gear. And since I want, since we're going to look at it from the front, even though this gear is hidden, I'm going to put the ugly side out. You can do it either way. It's completely up to you when somebody's looking at the back or not. I'm going to take one of our half inch screws, put it through the middle gear hole right there, put a little bit of glue on it, and put a little nut on it, and then we want to make sure that that stays nice and loose. The key here is not getting it in too tight. So you leave yourself a paper's width of something underneath it so it'll spin that middle gear. And now we're going to put the question gear on. Since we want the question gear to be on the left hand side, we're going to put it in here. We don't have to do any very careful alignment here. We just got to get a screw through. Make sure that's aiming out towards the front. Notice how it's now matching with my teeth back there. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue on this screw and put my nut on this side. Again, leave myself a little bit of room and make sure it will spin freely. And now, this is the only part that's tricky. If you spin it, you'll notice that when you spin it about a quarter of the way, you're on a blank face here. If I spin it another quarter of the way, the question is in my window. So I'm going to go to the what do you call wood when it is scared part of this. I'm going to rotate it about a quarter just so the words are all out of the window and hold it still. Then I'm going to stick my other gear here. I'm going to stick the screw through. And since alignment is the tricky part, I'm going to put my nut on just very loosely. It will probably manage to turn itself off, un untwist itself in a minute. And I can go back to the question, and then I can go to the answer, and then I can go to the next question, and my next answer isn't showing yet, so I'm in good shape to give him screws instead. So now, flip it back over. Put my little bit of glue here, put my screw on the, my nut on the back of this screw, make sure it's still spinning nicely, and don't let the glue get stuck and stick a gear down, that will happen. Now, our last piece is our little ghost looking through the window, so we're going to put our screw through this hole. Or we're going to try to anyway, and pop the ghosts on. Make sure that tooth lines up and do the same thing here. And we'll go ahead and put this last nut on here. And my little ghost will pop up through the window on top. And I have my Haunted Comedy Club. Dun, dun, dun. Now, if you're going to wear it as a pin, or if you want to put it on as a hat pin or something else, all you need to do is take your two pin backs, use your glue, put a little drop of glue on those two towers, and glue your pin backs to the two towers. Push down a little bit to get the super glue to engage. And you're good to go. Pin backs and all. Perfect haunted comedy club for you to enjoy this Halloween season. Thanks so much.